Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, y'all? It's your boy B, man. Back again. Woo! We hitting. We back again with another video, man. We still in Sacramento, California. We filling up the tank, man. We about to take the first drive in the legend. Cool, man. Y'all just don't know how, how excited I am for this. And I ain't gonna lie, that didn't look way worse on this camera than it do in person. We gonna get that pulled out immediately. I actually got a replacement door, but I just wasn't able to take it. But you know, James and my folks, so it's gonna stay out here for now until I come back in my truck and I'll come get it from them that day. But yeah, man, this is the legend coupe. Like I said, we filling it up. 1994 Type 2 coupe. You know what I mean? I, I like this thing, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is a clean one, man. So I'm super excited. Just from the drive alone, from the shop to the gas station before we hit uh, Highway 5, this thing is healthy. Like, I mean, it idles healthy. It just sounds healthy. It drives healthy. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's different. This one, this one, way easier, way better than my last one, man. And the sedan, way better condition than that car was. So this one not gonna take too much. This one's gonna be a real easy build. I'm keeping this one very simple. The sedan will be the show build. This is gonna be just like my own personal build because like I said, this is what I wanted. I'm not changing the color on this. I'm not changing nothing on this. Like this car is exactly what I want, how I want. I will put my wheels on it, little stuff like that. But like, it's gonna pretty much stay champagne. Just of course, you know, getting a little minor touches done and stuff like that, detailing it up. But as y'all see by the title, this is the first drive video. So let's go ahead and uh, finish filling up this tank. And then we about to uh, hit Highway 5, man, and head on back out to, uh, head on back out to the bay. We got a long ride to go, but uh, we about to make it happen. I put 80 in this joint. I'm trying to just go ahead and squeeze the whole eight. <laughs> we have $78 right now. Yeah, we just gonna go ahead and stop before I mess around and overflow this tank. I don't see nothing coming out the overflow just yet. So, you know, hold on, let's... Yeah, we done. It's over with. Hopefully the shit don't come shooting out on me. All right, here we go. And like I said, man, let's go ahead and take this, uh, this first drive. This is the first drive in the 94 Legend Coupe, man. As y'all can see, man, we're running 176,000 miles in this joint. Um, everything, for the most part, is updated. Uh, what James said he would plan on us doing around 200,000 would be the Time and Belt water pump thermostat. Um, and then, of course, I want to do uh, new hoses. Um, I want to do new temp sensors, and I want to do new fan switches as well. Um, right now, pretty much everything that's been done is... Uh, you know, all the fluids, of course. The EGR has already been clean. Um, like he said, man, this car sat for a minute, so it didn't really need too much. He said most of the belts already did look like they were changed out, um, you know, within a good amount of time. So nothing was actually needed on this car. And like I said, it drives amazing. Um, of course, the usual ABS light is on. That's what every legend, this is my first legend where I actually had that on. My sedan luckily doesn't have that issue for some reason i don't know what the last owners did but i haven't had an abs light issue um in the three years i've had it uh but like i said man this car drives really really smooth i don't know what it is it feels like it has a little bit more get up and go versus the sedan maybe i'm just tripping i don't know but this car drives really good um of course the seats are a little bit different versus the sedan but no literally like it is a two-door version of the sedan man like from head to toe the interior is pretty much the same like i said this thing is in really really good condition all the wood grain and everything on this car is solid like i said it definitely need a good shampoo definitely need the seats clean these back seats is just so immaculate man the front seats aren't bad i mean they raggedy but they not ripped other than the front the driver's seat got a couple rips but these front seats ain't bad so i'm wondering if there's something we could do with that to salvage that 
without spending too much money. But uh, but yeah, the overall sense, man, this car drives really, really good. I'm I'm just I'm happy with the purchase, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is the best legend purchase I for sure made out of the three legends. And you know, like I said, man, I I I told myself next legend build that I do. You know, I'm not I'm not building from the ground up again, man. Like I just for a few reasons that that sedan costed me a lot of money. Like I said, I'm gonna end up getting you know I'm gonna still do the video for y'all about the build price on that sedan. I'm gonna give that to y'all the updated version. But that sedan costed me a whole lot of money to get it uh to get it to where it is now. And it's funny because I saw a post in one of the forums where somebody was talking about how these legend prices are, are so high these days. And somebody may and somebody mentioned it's like you know most of these clean legends that you see on the road now are built from the ground up it's very rare that cats are getting a legend that's already clean like that's that's rare far and few in between even like this one like i lucked up on this car i really did i could flip this for a, for a price that most people that aren't in the legend game think is a good price and still make some money off of it but that's because i don't really have to do anything to it it's already set but how often is it that you find some car that was owned by like some old person or something that's been sitting for the last decade. You know what I mean? It's it's not it's not often that you kind of run upon this kind of um upon this kind of situation. So for y'all new legend owners that's getting in it, man, just expect the prices to be high if you wanna if you're trying to buy an already built legend, man. Cause like I said, nine times out of ten, most people don't either restore them back to factory or restore them to how you know however they want to see them look on their you know with their personal touch, and it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap at all. And like I said, folks just at least want their money back. You know what I'm saying? But I told myself, I said, I don't know how I'm going to find it, but I need a legend that's already running solid. I need a, reg a legend that for the most part looks solid. And all I got to do is just little stuff. You know what I mean? Just just little stuff to it to get it how I want it. So, you know, this is the car, man. Like I said, I still can't believe that I have it. I'm, I'm super excited about it. I, I really can't believe it. I'm happy, man. Man, like I said, this car drives so good. Look at the dashboard, man. It got like one little baby crack in it, but I think I'm gonna just give me a dash cover, man, so I can make sure that don't get no worse. Cause that's 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 a solid dash right there, man. I ain't gonna lie, solid dash. All the Burlwood solid. The radio does work. I do have an extra stereo head, actually, just like my other one um, that's in the other Legend. So I'm gonna probably go and get that uh, put in um, maybe next week since I already have the unit itself see how much my shop charge just to go ahead and uh put that bad boy in there but yeah man like i said i am uh i don't know man i'm just i can't believe it i can't believe it we really got a legend cool not quite back to the bay but damn near the bay we in tracy california right now so we pretty much back to the bay once we go through the altamont and i must say man this car has driven beautifully like seriously it's driven beautifully and I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I know that I vouch for the K Sport uh, coilovers. I still vouch for them, but I can't really give my opinion on them when it comes to stock height. So, you know, I don't have nothing negative to say about them at stock height because I'm not at stock height. You know, my car is like very much lower to the ground. So, you know, my ride is different. But I must say, a fresh set of whatever shocks this thing is sitting on, man, this thing is driving immaculate y'all like i can't lie this car is driving so immaculate like i'm I, i'm in love with it man i can't even lie to you i'm i'm really in love with this car i um i told um i told my pops i was on the phone with my pops and i was i was telling i was like man this car is the one pops i ain't even gonna lie this one this one is the one so like i said man i'm, I'm extremely happy with this car I'm extremely happy with this purchase. I can't wait to like get started with the build and really just, you know, make it my own. But yeah, this thing is uh this thing is the one, man. Like I said, 94 LS Type 2 Champagne Legend Cool. It, it just I don't know. I'm still in I'm still in disbelief, man. I just want to thank y'all again because honestly, you know, with the with the activity that I've been getting on this channel lately since I've made my comeback at the end of last year, man, the, the the activity and the support has been so amazing. And, you know, like I told y'all before, I've already been in a better space mentally 
um, you know, to where I've been more motivated to get back into this and, and really come to y'all with that good energy that I've, you know, always been known to put out. But like the response that I've gotten from y'all in return has been amazing. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. The response that I've gotten from y'all since my return, all the comments on the videos, all the views, the likes, the shares on the Facebook post, everything, like it's been... It's, it's been unbelievable. Like, seriously, it's been un unbelievable. I'm, I'm super thankful. I'm super appreciative of all of y'all for y'all support. And to be honest with you, it's that support from y'all that also gives me that extra drive to get out here and, and continue this, you know, continue these legend journeys, continue these legend builds, continue to build in general, continue to make content, continue to have fun with the content and just, you know, bring y'all what y'all love, man. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I love doing this for y'all too. I really do. I love doing this for y'all. I really do this out of the pureness of my heart because all of this stuff that I do literally comes out of my pocket. Everything I do is straight out of my pocket. Yes, I do get YouTube checks, but it, it, it ain't it ain't enough to even put a dent in how much money I be spending on these cars just to give y'all these videos and give y'all the content and give y'all the motivation you know what I mean? To keep going with y'all bills. I really do this from the love of my heart. And, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for y'all. I'm thankful that God has always kept me in, you know, a pretty good position to be able to, for the most part, consistently do these kind of things. You know, I had to take a break. Uh, what was that? Uh, I had to take a break at the end of 2022. Towards the end of 2022, I had to take a break when my head gaskets went out. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't prepared for that to happen and to have that 3.5 yet, but... You know, y'all stuck around with me even through that. Saved up the money, got it done. And you know, it been, it been some way, shape, or form back up and running. You know what I mean? We've been we've been trying to get this content out. But like I said, 2024, I'm coming in a major way, man. Like I'm not playing no games. I, it's like I told my partner, man. Well, not my partner. Y'all know him. Like I told Reg. Like I told my pops. Like I told my wife. I'm like, man, I, I, I got to finish what I started. You know what I mean? I really got to finish what I started. And, 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 you know, give, give it to y'all, man. Y'all been waiting for me. Like I said, y'all been waiting for me to come back. Y'all been waiting for the comeback. Y'all been waiting for the consistency. And and, and I, I came back and I gave it to y'all. And y'all been responding, man. Y'all been showing out. So I just want to thank y'all once again for everything, for all of the support and the love that y'all been giving me on this channel. Like I said, this this coop is for y'all, man. We bringing back another bill. This 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 for us, man. This this our coop. You know what I mean? This is this is the Vita Growth Team coupe right here, man. For real. For those of y'all that are new, y'all finally get to see a car from start to finish. Cause I know a lot of y'all ain't going back to the beginning on that sedan. But at least at least we got this one, man. We got this one. So y'all get to see the start of another build. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the house. And then I'll turn the camera back on one more time, give you another quick walk around, and we'll end the video from there. Well, y'all, we made it back home. Safe and sound. <laughs> in the legend coupe like i said man i'm super happy with this car the drive on it is amazing it's super clean i said we definitely about to give it a good wash because it got some watermarks and all kind of stuff on it so we're gonna give it a good wash get it all nice and cleaned up but this is it man my 1994 acura legend ls type 2 this is the new uh the new build so the other one will be going bye bye. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'll be doing with it just yet. But um, like I said, man, this is this is the one though. This is the one I wanted. This is the one for me. Like this is everything that I wanted personally out of a legend, man. So I'm super happy to have it. So yeah, I can expect to see a video of it getting detailed as well as getting that roof tilt done like ASAP, man. So y'all keep a look out, man. Like I said, we got content for the sedan. We got content for the coupe coming. It's just, you know, y'all just stay patient with me, man. We dropping videos. But y'all know what to do. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell if you haven't already. Keep up with the uploads. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace.